Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one is for The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, Episode 1, A Dreadly Business. Now this game was developed by Rumpus Animation, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and is available to you for just £4.99. Now this is an adventure and point and click type game with just honestly some of the most hilarious but silly gameplay and acting I've ever seen and that's a good thing by the way. You know, with this sort of proper over-the-top posh English accent. And our main character reminds me of Nigel Thornbury. If anyone remembers in the UK the kid show, The Wild Thornberrys, remember? Classic. Um, but it is fun though. Silly funny, and I enjoyed it from start to finish. Now as for the achievements, there's 10 to get. 8 are very easy, basically completing chapters and clicking on paintings, stuffed animals, and talking to every character as we go. Two of the trickier ones are in the chase scenes for not hitting anything, but still though it's easy enough and of course I'll let you know when we get there. What you'll also see me doing is, basically I'll be skipping through the dialogue throughout the game with the A button, but I have tried going sort of as slow as I can so hopefully you guys can keep up with me without pausing too much. Overall though, this should take you just around an hour, maybe a little bit more to complete. So, with all the basics being covered then, let us begin. And the first thing we'll be doing is waking our Nigel Thornbury ass up. So as soon as the alarm clock goes there, give that a bell, uh, give that a smash a couple of times. And again, the accents are just so over the top, it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So open the curtains, and then on the left hand side there, you can go ahead and get dressed. Now, basically, uh, Bertram Fiddle is kind of the B-type adventurer. He's basically Sherlock Holmes, but... I mean, has anyone actually seen the Sherlock Holmes with Will Ferrell and uh, John C. Riley? Yeah, he's kind of that. He's not the Robert Downey Jr. type of Sherlock Holmes or the Benedict Cucumber Batch. He is more the uh, Will Ferrell style Sherlock Holmes. Hilarious, though. So as soon as we exit our room, make sure to click on the three paintings there. Again, like I said, we'll be clicking on quite a few of the paintings. Uh, there's a lot. Yeah, well, quite yeah, quite a few to get through. So basically, in every room that we enter, make sure that there's either a stuffed animal, these paintings, or a character to talk to, because we'll be going through the entire game. So, again, you can skip the dialogue, press in A, or you can just leave it running if you want to. That is perfectly fine as well. Pick up the rag on the staircase, and then take a little trip down. <laughs> Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Pile of Sir, is that you? Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Good morning, Mr. Fidel. Ah, there you are, Gavin. I was just uh, deflating these zeppelins. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately, not. It was a restless... My mind craves adventure. It's been two months... So, as you're aware then, there is quite a lot of talking on the game. Still all brilliant and hilarious, but of course I won't be talking through a lot of that. I'll try and keep the story interested for you. So once Big Gavin finishes there, on the left-hand side there's a little letter for us to pick up. I'll go and grab that. Telegram spammed. <gasps> a message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure... And once we're into the next room, make sure to click on the painting, of course. That goes towards our achievement. And you can look at our mother, who's got balls for chins, a penis nose on the top of her head, and two eyes either side. I don't know why, but that is some top animation. Um, I do click on the objects around me as well. Not sure if they are needed. But sometimes you do have to click on something to actually advance the story. So that's why I do it just here. Just some artifacts. My prized possession. A rather cheeky specimen. I'm writing my autobiography. It is a more scribbling read. I'm writing. 
fighting my... It is a more scribbling. I... I shot my first yeti with that. So, yeah, like I said, just click on everything, sort of, you know, just in case sort of thing. Now we've got our really piss-annoying wife and her piss-annoying dog. Just pure dicks, both of these. And see, and see. Creature. Bother some. Bother. Bother some creature. But Bertram spitting out wild beats right there. Anyway, have a little chat with your bleeding wife. Just watch how much of a knobhead she is now. Ugh, if anyone's in a relationship like this, get out. Get out right now. <laughs> that, as may be, being respectable costs money. She has mentioned that the hours are long and arduous and the work... My, my... There, there, my dear. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. You? Oh. Well, thank you, Beatrice. Now. Um, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness sake, Beatrice. I don't like... It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on grooms... I, uh, Yes. This is all very tiresome. Typical manipulation there. Turn on the waterworks, so then we've got to feel sorry for them. Nice one. You knobhead. Anyway, now you know how to get up your inventory. It's just on the bottom left-hand side there. So get the bone, get that weird-looking... Kind of looks like something that Seth MacFarlane from Family Guy would draw, wouldn't it? Weird-looking dog. Um, anyway, pick him up. You've got some good spacious, <laughs> spacious pockets. There he goes, as he says there. And now we can just nip on through to the front room. And basically all we're doing now, look, click on the paintings once again. Of course, always remember to click on the paintings every time you enter a new room. But then, if there's something heavy that we need, which we can't move because our arms are basically noodles, you can get Big Gavin right here. He's got the eyeballs and the arms for it. Now, the next achievement that's coming up is the first of the sort of tricky ones. We have to go outside and we basically have to chase this sort of robber without hitting anyone in the street. Now, the way to control Bertie is by pressing up and down on the left stick as you go. Now, if you do hit someone, Bertie will cover his face, so make sure to be wary of your own character. Now, again, if that happens and he does end up covering his own face because you've hit someone, seeing as there is no manual save, you've simply got to exit the game, dashboard out, quit it completely and reload. And you will start right at the beginning of the chase scene. Note that every time you do start again, it does randomise the crowd, but not by much, so it doesn't make it too much more difficult. But hopefully you should get past this. I got past it on my fourth attempt, so hopefully you should get it through quite quickly as well. Why is he running? I think we are gaining on him. Boy, what is this? Come on, Gavin, do keep up. We're definitely getting closer. I say. This way, Gavin. I say. This way, Gavin. My lovely oranges! Ouch! Are you okay, sir? What's this? It appears to be... He must have... So there we are then. Hopefully that wasn't too painful for you. Again, I got it on my fourth attempt, so... And, and it's quite quickly to reload in anyway, so hopefully you got it quite quickly. My lovely oranges. <laughs> top voices. Top voices. Anyway, just talk to every character here, all three characters in this scene. We're already on to chapter two then. Did you see a suspicious... I wish to return his back. No, sir, I have not. You... He's a proper detective. Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, blessed with a keen eye. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look, the freak show is in town.
Now, this is the first scene you will see all these little pigeons on the ground. You'll have to talk to this uh, Snoopsworth lady here. But basically, every scene that we enter, you need to shoo away all the pigeons just by walking over to them. So, keep that one in mind as well. That is for an achievement later on. So, any pigeons you see, make sure to walk over to them so they piss off. Don't feed them bread because they explode. Your Majesty. So once we enter the building then there's not a lot going on but like I said we need to click on all of the stuffed animals that is along the wall, talk to every character as well before we can actually move on with the story. So you enjoy all of the, um, um, I, I don't even know this just looks like something out of Ace Ventura the second film doesn't it but <laughs> you enjoy it anyway. The main attraction. Take it. How do you do, Sir Gr How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same. Constant pain, Fiddle. Oh, I am sorry. You weren't there, man. What an imposing pachyderm. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, it is for a list of... I've never been so outraged. Mr. Holmes has asked as he is working on the dreadful... I have my own case. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle. That poor creature has not been... It looks like it could fall... His antlers are as twisted as this... Your Majesty. Hmm. Has someone been trolling? Guy Hardwood? Fiddle! Long time no... Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my... South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well... Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. Crevasse. So thought I'd bring it back. Got a few ideas. <laughs> Crazy. Prehistoric. It's a very unique... Don't touch, Fiddle. She bites. You nearly took my help. But if she got out... Pandemonium, I expect. Is the lock... Safe as houses, Fiddle. Lord Rochester has been... So before you click on here, make sure that you've clicked on the painting of the uh, the supposed queen, talk to every character in here, and clicked on all these stuffed animals before you move on. Make sure to do that, otherwise you'll have to come back through and do it all again, sadly. But once you've done all that, get your little bone out from your inventory, that sounded wrong, and then <laughs> unlock this sort of dinosaur weird thing. And off they'll go, and he'll cause chaos, and then we can finally move through. And blast. Come back! Come back to me! So once we're here then, uh, click on the painting, and then click on the statue below it. Before we go to the right side room where Sherlock Holmes is, just click on the left hand side room first because there is a character in there that we need to talk to. I'll leave the surprise though to you now. It's weird. <laughs> Do you mind? Oh, uh, terribly sorry. The door was open and I. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Door just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing I've seen before. Pick those leaves up from a fellow in Indies. Strong stuff. Um, I'll be off. Be a good fellow and shut the door on your way. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. So when I said it's weird, I wonder what you actually thought was going to happen then. Still though, hell of a remix from that bird. So make sure you grab the little jelly gummy worm things, whatever they were, and then go to the right into Sherlock Holmes' room and have a little again, conversation. You really are. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't all your games. 
Ah, oh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales? No, I'm on a mission to return. And who is that? I ha have you tried looking in? Ah. Been there? Been. The features have been sliced off expertly with a sh Ah, this looks like the work of London. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find... Ha <laughs> ha! If you can find Jeff the murderer... I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But the... So then, there's the weird bet on. Uh, click on the head. That is a nose, believe it or not. So go ahead, drag it to where the nose is. I say... That's not to be sniffed at. <laughs> That's not to be sniffed at. Sure. Again, honestly, the writing in this is phenomenal. That is just some of the worst jokes you'll ever see, but brilliant anyway. So get your inventory out. Get your sort of jelly things that you got from the weird man in the left room. Drag it into the tea. That'll make a nice potion. Give it to Sherlock, and that will knock him out. Yeah, already some weird stuff, and we're we're not even twenty minutes in yet. <laughs> what 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 is in this tea? What have you done? Don't worry, Watson. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Now, was there some? I know you'll think me silly for saying, but you need to ask the spirits for help. Spirits? I am a man of science. I don't believe in such puffery. No, Bertram. Sherlock says it was a seagull. The spirit sometimes lingers on in this realm. You should help her find peace. Try and find Count Fulchmuckle. He's a... I'm sure he can help you on your... Since we are done with the ever so sadly pathetic Watson in this, I'm quite sad they made him <laughs> such a, uh, you know, a bit in this, but... There we go then, it is what it is. Now we can exit out of here. Um, <laughs> the guard's still got that mask on. He's ballsed up, so we can just leave. Again, if there's anything that you think you might have missed, go through it all again at your whim. Talk to this little pig right here, and then again, just shoo the birds away by walking over them before you move to the right side of the screen. Wonderful. You can tell your readers. Not Here's my news blimp now. I must be off. Hemlock Street. This. That's one way to get about in the 1800s. That is by blimp. Uh, so go ahead, talk to the little paper boy right here again. And there's a crow in the right-hand top corner there to. Uh, click on click on him three times, I think, and then we can enter in the house into <laughs> another brilliantly named character in this game, Lord Arthwipe. <laughs> Never more. Have you heard the news, Fiddle? Right under our noses. They say... Terrible! Terrible? 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 You do not know I, on the other hand. I have done some true. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich. I am above the law. <laughs> so once he shuts his gammon pasty hole, then make sure again to click on the paintings. Uh, you can only click on one. You don't have to click on both because they don't actually work clicking on both. Uh, click on both of these statues as well. And then, of course, talk to Lord Arthole himself. My double-headed cobra fiddle. <laughs> Twice. <gasps> He's... Yes, I... I cut... I have a little errand. You may encounter a Lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. I need you to retrieve them for me. If you obtain them successfully, meet but tell no. I have arranged for my coat. Um, okay. 
Now those pictures he wants back, they're definitely sexy ones. That's the only time anyone in somebody's position like that wants photos back, because they're always sexy. <laughs> Gotta be, haven't they? Make sure before you click on the carriage to click on the driver to talk to him first. This one is easily missable. So make sure to click on the driver first, then the carriage, and then chapter two is basically over and out. Now we're on to chapter three. Ready up! What a peculiar day this is turning out to be. There is no way a man of my caliber, but at least this mission for Lord Arthwipe should see us. I don't trust him. He has funny eyes. Lord Arthwipe? He's a very important... If we can impress him, I'm sure he will be able... We must hunt down this Jeff the murderer and far. He has eluded all attempts at capture, so imagine the look on Sherlock's face if we were to succeed. And your wife's dog, sir. And Poofy. I must get him back, or Werther will be furious. We have a saying in Peru. You're right, Gavin. And neither shall we. <laughs> So there we are then, happy days, we've only got two chapters left already, you can go and click on the gate somehow, the, our little murderer friend gets through, click on the shovel on the right, and then to get through, Derek actually has some sort of bender from Futurama strength. Even though he looks like Leela with one eye, click on him and he has that bender strength. Maybe he's just like all Futurama characters just rolled into one perhaps. Anyway. Sir, I sense a disturbance. So on to the next scene then, talk to this little redhead right here, she calls you <laughs> something and she's a nasty little pig. Go and knock on the door and speak to the maid of Count Fuckle Munch or Munch Fuckle or Fluckle Munch, I forgot the name's there, but um, yeah, I really would love to know where the hell they got the names for some of these characters. Very professionally done, I must say. I'm afraid I've said too much and if you see the Count... So next then, go into your inventory and get out the uh, shovel. We'll be getting those bloomers down. <laughs> now imagine pulling a girl on a night out. She pulls down her trousers, and that's what you greet you with. Woof! You'd be out of there in a shot, wouldn't you, really? Um, hey, no, everyone's got their own weird fetishes. That's not one of mine. Anyway, pick them up. They will come in handy later on. Then go and talk to this unfortunate little fellow who's fallen on his ass. Did you see a man run by? Indeed I did. He knocked me over and trod on my... Don't oh, bother, it's cracked. It's no use to... Here, let me help. It's broken. So, this is the sort of main... End. Well, we are sort of coming up to the end. We've got, we've got a while yet to go, but this is the sort of main area that we'll be focusing on right now. Um, I tried to shoo away this pigeon. You can't actually shoo away him yet. So go ahead and go into the flock of pigeons just by the door there. They'll all uh, piss off and we'll pick up a little item that is needed. These gangs of pigeons are going to... Shoo! Shoo! What are they picking at? It's a mouth! One more piece of the puzzle! That item turns out to be pretty important. It's the lips we need for our dead head that we're carrying what around. So, do a little bit of reconstruction work to that beautiful winning smile. And then just exit out of here. And now we can go ahead and into the house right here. Before you go into the living room, directly on your right will be the last stuffed animal. So you'll get an achievement for unlocking all of the stuffed animals here, and then pick up the footstool just beneath you. Happy days, easy happy days. So once that bit is done then, now we can go into the living room. Again, it's just a case of speaking to the old bird, the parrot, and just picking up items as we've been doing throughout the game, and of course, looking at all the paintings. I can't hear myself think. I'm no cow to help. What 
did you say? Only wants a cracker. I'm starving. Hello, your lady. What's that? I can't hear a word. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. Have you heard about the murder? You should be careful. Don't worry, young man. Uh, is there anything else you want? Squawk! Have you met Mr. Calamus? I tell him all my... Tells me all her secrets. Really got the energy to lift my... Is there anything else you want? I was wondering if you had... Vodou McGraths? Uh, I, I don't know what you... I'm now told to help my... What did you say? All he wants a cry. What a magnificent... Look how it catches the light. Uh, that thing. May it bring you better... Is there any... I was... Fair... Back... So hopefully you would have picked up the diamond there, as you just see me doing. Now we can head out uh, all the way outside. Now we're going all the way to the right. Remember, if there are any pigeons that you see, just shoo them away by walking up to them. Easy as pie. Easy as Nigel Thornbury's pie, I suppose. Anyway, go all the way to the right and we'll sort of come down to this seedy, dark market looking area. Hello, good sir. Hold on, mister. The exotic project, I have to move it on. Right, blue mistake. So, be a good lamb. Get out your inventory and give him the bloomers from earlier on. That'll make his exotic produce not get dripped on anymore. And we can take one of those weird things to the left of us. <laughs> Aye, one of those things. What are they? Avocadodos. The world, you can have one in return for help with... <laughs> That's one. Avocadodos. And the sex noise that it makes is, quite frankly, disturbing. And a, p a pineapple. <laughs> Honestly, this game is so silly, but it is so brilliant. Make me laugh all the way. Anyway, to the left, up we come back to the main street now. Shoo away all the pigeons that you can. I don't think it's necessary to shoo away every single pigeon, but, you know, I sort of do it just in case, because you never bloody know. And there's... Well, you have to... If you do end up missing an achievement like this, you'll have to go through the entire game again just to get it, and you don't really want that, even if it is a short one, do you? So, into this little bit of tunnel that we go then. And you could just hear somebody taking a little snake. What we need to do then is uh, light it up. So get the broken sort of mirror and the diamond together. And you'll have to put them on the barrel next. With, well, basically the only barrel that you're on right now. Or that you're next to even. That light up all the candles then just go all the way to the left to see Count Fluckle Munch or... Munch fuckle. Or fuckface munch. Don't forget to take the diamond ring with you as well. Even though he does that automatically, so <laughs> it's all good. Count I know what you're thinking, fiddle. This time. Are you eating a jack? Maybe I am. What do you know about these murderers? I've heard rumors that the murderer... Ah, there's nothing so... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 <clears throat> if the living can't offer... Tell me more. Do you know, sir, they are keen spiritomologists, and I've heard of a gypsy lady, but be careful. You are meddling with things you can't imagine. Here, take this for protection. Leave me to my... These are dark times. Nobody knows...
So then, he was a very, very pleasant man. Leave him to his cockroach. Don't judge. Hey, we've all eaten cockroaches when we haven't needed to. It's all, it's all good protein. And he looked built then, didn't he? He, he, he definitely looked strong man built then. Um, anyway, to the right, we're not going to the house. We need to push, uh, again, show all the pigeons away, as I'm doing, or as you've been doing. Obviously, they, they could just end up in random locations for you. They don't always stay in the same location. Uh, so we need to now get Big Gav, or Big Male Leela, to uh, push this just over to the wall. Just left to the side gate. We can't actually get in because it is locked from the... Uh, inside, which is a pain in the ass. Go ahead, use the footstool on said uh, whatever the bloody hell that is machine. That's better. And we're almost done now. We can't actually get up yet. So now we need to go back to the left. We need to use Big Gav again, the male Leela. This time he's going to use his strength to smash up this box. to nimbly scale the wall. I need fur At your service. Are you okay, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Ah, so oh, come on, Big Bird. It's not even that big a fall. Get a grip, bruh. Although you are stick thin. Anyway, nothing else to do here. Get a vine from the right-hand side plant pot. Yeah, I suppose you are noodle noodling up the place. Noodle arms, noodle legs and everything. So, I suppose it would hurt your little ass. Um, unlock the door. Now we can go through um, any time we want, which is always good. Shoo away all the pigeons, so... Now we've got a vine, we can actually go upstairs into the house now and up into the attic where we will begin to find these disgustingly sexy photos. The photos are not sexy, I mean, you know, they are sexy photos of uh, Lord Hearthwipe. <laughs> so go ahead, use the vine on the chandelier... <laughs> chandelier above. <laughs> seriously, seriously, this is... This is comedic. This is excellent. This is really funny. So we need to get Gav to give us a push because we are... We're so thin, we have no aerodynamics. We have no momentum to swing us across. Open up the little cupboard there, or the cabinet. Grab the cracker, which we'll be giving Polly in a minute because parrots are all fat bastards. Um, <laughs> just go up the stairs. There's only one painting to collect. Yeah. And it's that one. Uh, <laughs> and then grab the other portrait to the left of it. Jesus. There's an image that you'll never get out of your head. It's like looking at your nan naked, that, isn't it? And nobody wants that. N no offence, nan. I love you, but not that way inclined, all right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Use the portrait they just picked up to now put it on the gap in the floor. We can move across efforts effortlessly without needing any aerodynamics or momentum which is great and then go back into the living room this time we'll need to talk to polly so give polly the little cracker again make sure to you should have talked to both characters earlier on anyway uh, if you were following what i done so hopefully you should still be good for that but again if not Make sure to talk to both characters before you give Polly that little cracker. It's a just-in-case thing again. Obviously, you do talk to him, but because that's for sort of forcing the story through, again, it's worth just talking to him before you do anything with him. So, back up into the attic now. I know the code. One... Must be what Lord Hearthwipe is after. Oh, 
Oh, my. Oh. Oh, well. I better get back to the old chuck. So there we go then. Now we know the weird secret and just thank just be thankful they didn't draw a little penis picture there because that would have creeped us out to death for days. Show away all the pigeons on the street that are around before we move back into the garden of pure hell. Click on the rustling bush and it's going to be absolutely full of these vines who which try to attack you, these little Jeremy vines. Because he's a dick that just attacks everyone for no reason. Uh, get out your sword click on them you don't have to do anything it's just a nice easy day with with what I just re I, I'm surprised I haven't said anything that but, but Bertram's got a slug penis on his nose and I don't know why it's taken me 36 minutes to <laughs> realize that but a lot of these characters have slug penises on their nose for some reason go over to the bush and Lord Arthwipe is there holding his dick in his hand I presume because he's a bloody weird though isn't he but this is basically now the end of chapter 3, so we'll have a little conversation with Arthie boy and then just go through the little gap in the hole to the left of him. Job Dan, one chapter left. Splendid! You didn't look, did you? I, um, yes. Uh, you mentioned some kind of... How did you know about that? Oh, <laughs> Be on your way, Fiddle. You have a murderer to and you don't want him to get away. I smell danger. That isn't danger. <laughs> Mind your step, Fiddle. It can get... Mind your step, sir. My goodness! This Ooh, Gavin, you look different. Oh, you have an eye stuck to your... An eye for an eye. So this is chapter four out of four. Uh, luckily for us, we find an eyeball, one of the eyeballs, which is exactly what we need. So go ahead and talk to the guy on the left what? first. Are you an eye? No, I am Bertram Fiddle. Oh, I'm Norris, and I'm my good lady wife. Threw me out on a. Oh, indeed, sir. Now. So just nip off to the right. We will be coming back to him a little later on. Go ahead and talk to this guy. Sorry, Evening, does anyone have that sort of, this sort of weird things? I cannot stand the sound of a broom going on the pavement. That really goes through me. Anyone else have anything weird like that? It's just, ugh, ugh, absolutely kills me. But anyway, talk to this little son of a bitch anyway. And then finally, we can move on. Uh, you can try and do anything with these crows, but they don't actually do anything. So we'll just be heading to the left very quickly. Don't talk to this guy again. You speak to him once, it's fine. Of course, to get the all character spoken to achievement. So they pass him eventually. Go and talk to this chick, and she will give you a muff. In. You <laughs> How rude! She threw her muffin at me. Well, she doesn't give it to you so much as throws it at you. Um, anyway, get the last two remaining pigeons again. Could be random for you, but this is where you should get the extremely shoeful achievement before you head off to the left and talk to this guy. But as long as you've been shooing all the pigeons throughout the streets, that is where you will usually get the achievement wherever you shoe your particular pigeon. Sorry, mister. Since the murdering started... Can't you just open it a little bit? It's more than my job's worth. I'm off home for a nice plate of kippers. You're oh, Fudge, what shall we... So we can't quite get across yet, but go ahead, go down anyway and pick one of these reeds. 
and then what we'll need to do is get some holes in that so we can give it to the first guy that we met in the chapter as we came out of the drain. And the way to get this is talk to these two creepy looking zombies down here and basically she'll just put place your read on her and she'll end up uh, poking it. Stabby stab. We don't like your sort around here. Poking your noses in. You Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. So that's that guy taken care of. We got his little bathtub now. So now we can go directly to the right this time for the first time. Have a look in the bin. Go rummaging through there. I mean, you've got a big enough penis nose, so you should sniff out something that we need to collect. Which we do. And we have a little cork, which always helps us. Go into this sort of outhouse little toilet thing right Yeah, A rat's going to appear. We can't actually get the item in the back at the moment. But just feed the uh, muffin to the rat and that'll help us get said item in the back. It's fangs! So then, now we can put the cork into the guy's machine. Now, when he drops it, after the conversation, when he drops it, remember to pick up the broom because we need it. I almost forget it, which is why there's a pretty big sort of edit cut right here. But with my contraption back at Mark and Mine, time to clean up this muck. Immaculate. Immaculate. Oh, happy days! We've done everything in this area. Uh, we will be coming back to this area and to the very right a little later on, but now we can actually get across the bridge. And the way to do that then is by placing the broom and the bathtub down and getting Big Gav to nip on over for you. Because again, you've got noodle arms, buddy. There ain't, way, <laughs> there ain't no way you were getting across there. Not in this bloody uh, current. Not with them arms, boy. this broom at your service hold on sir these won't take long a bit faster we haven't got all day mm. now lower the bridge certainly sir There we go then, so that's us now safely across. Uh, what we'll have to do is get the uh, sort of toilet brush that we picked up earlier on, get some uh, cotton candy looking thing out of that. Nothing to do with the weird looking spider. Now we can go to the left and that's one of the eyes that we need. But again, they're not just gonna give it up to us so we need to do a few things first after this conversation. They can't play. And we don't make the rules, mister! 
And that does involve going into the house again. There's a few more ca uh, characters that we'll need to speak to. And there's a few little things that we need to do in the house first. So first of all, click on the two paintings. So then after you uh, click on both paintings and talk to the wife, we'll talk to this guy a little bit later on. For some reason, she's on Farmville on a phone in the 1800s, but there we go. Uh, again, a nice little touch there. Get out your toilet brush, candy floss, and interact with the cupboard to get these weird bloody English kids out. He can't grow a real moustache. Like giving fake candy. Ugh, I know how I know how he feels, kids. I'd love to grow a mustache like that, but it ain't happening. So just grab the pearl from the very right, and then what we can do is now interact with the guy. And well, being a B-list adventurer and detective, he bollockses it up. But it gives us the little black heart that he drops, which we need in just a, uh, in just a moment. You fool! What have you done? That's right. There, there, darling. I still. It's just not right. Thank you for your help. Have a good evening. He knows. This candy floss tastes funny. Bloody goddamn creepy ass kids. <laughs> yeah. Blah. Anyway, go ahead, give them the pearl, they'll run off with that now and make them rich beyond their wildest dreams. But now we can pick up the eye and finish the puzzle piece. And then what we'll do is go all the way to the right hand side where we've seen the rat in the toilet earlier on. But this time we'll be going through the little door. And that is where the second of the chase scenes coming up. And the achievement for not hitting, you basically we're going to be chased by ghosts this time. And we've got to hit no gravestones. Uh, personally I found this one a little bit easier than the chasing at the very beginning of the game. You're greatly traveled. Yes, I am. How did you are searching for something? Yes, yes. Jeff the murderer. That, that's not to be sniffed at. Oh, Shashavastad. This is what? Very what? I was told you could help me. Yes. I contact the spirit. Sorry, I don't have will do. Oh, spirits, can you? Shh, someone is answering. Help me, Bertram Fiddles. You're me only hope. Well, the eat. Hello, mister. Here, don't I know you? And then he cut me blooming head off. Help me find out who wronged me. Look for the sign of the spotted car. Ooh. So again, same rules apply as the chase at the very beginning. Just use up and down to avoid the grey stones. Again, if you hit one and he covers his face, immediately quit out of the game and try again. But again, this one should be a little bit easier for you, hopefully. Exceptionally far. 
lost phantasms. Phew, I think that has given them the slip. And there we are then, lovely. So by the way, again, that okay, might sir. be random. Sometimes you might have to cross two bridges, sometimes it's one. Oh, but again, it, hopefully you would have got past that without so much of a scratch. But now we are on to the very last uh, scene of the game. You will get another achievement here for talking to Big Sherlock and the pathetic, sadly, Watson. And this is for talking to all of the characters in the game. So this is where you should unlock this achievement. Maybe you want some... Who? Jeff! Jeff the... What's the matter, Fiddle? You look like you've seen a ghost. Shush, Watson. You... But the fiend is obviously a criminal mastermind. Always one step ahead of the law. It's like... Are you sure this... So now we are basically at the end of the game. This is the last room. Go inside. Um, have a look at the picture on the left. This will get us the a true connoisseur achievement for looking at all of the paintings in the game. And now what we've got to do is uh, look at the notes on the table. Hell of a note. He's obviously extremely, extremely fantastic in writing. And is the dog dead? Is that weird family guy drawn looking... <laughs> looking dog dead? Maniac would make sausages at Werther isn't going... Fofi, where is it coming from? Spoiler alert, no he's not. Get Big Gavin here to move the table and that this is where Foofy. Oh, I can't, that's just, just a stupid name for a dog. If you've named your dog Foofy, you should be ashamed of yourself. Alright? <laughs> but there he is. So now all we got to do is go outside and the game is done. So I will say my goodbyes here. Thank you so, so much for watching guys and girls. I really do hope you enjoyed the game. I will be making a video guide for the second episode as well, so look out for that real soon. Again, you can catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, also on Patreon. All the links are provided in the description below. But again, thanks so, so for much. So, uh, so, let's try that again. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Big love. What a marvelous story it's.